You can coat all the chicken so it soaks in the flavors of the, of the gravy as yeah. well. Oi, oi. The colors are phenomenal. It smells outrageous. Day. Cook from home wishes you India Dipavali Valtikal. How about to cook from home? It is a show where I, an amateur cook, attempts at recreating famous dishes so that you guys at home can decide whether it's worth cooking or not. For today's Deepavali special, we are going big. I'm talking about the best thing you can make to pair a naan, a prata or even a normal gardenia bread with butter chicken. Now to get these ingredients, the place you need to go is Mustafa Center. Trust me, this dish might use a variety of spices but when I went to Mustafa Center, they were all on the same shelf so I didn't really need to explore much, I just had to grab it all and go. At the end, I'll rate this dish based on its price, difficulty, the time it took and whether or not you guys should cook this from home. From an amateur to an amateur, let's make butter chicken together. We're gonna start with the chicken first and then we're gonna go to the butter or the gravy. So number one, we're gonna need a mixing bowl. Into the mixing bowl, we're gonna add four tablespoons of yogurt and two tablespoons of chickpea flour. We're gonna add in five different spices, starting from a tablespoon of coriander powder, a tablespoon of chili powder, a tablespoon of cumin powder, a pinch of cinnamon powder, and finally a pinch of saffron. And just dump them in. We're gonna move the mixing bowl aside because we're gonna blend a few ingredients together. We are gonna blend four garlic cloves, an inch of ginger, and finally a green chili. Now if you don't have a blender, I suggest just cutting the ingredients into small little bits and just mashing them together. Dump them in the mixing bowl. Season it with, I don't know, two pinches of salt. And you start mixing them. Now this is what we're gonna be mixing our chicken with. And speaking of chicken, let's cut them into nice little uh, one inch cubes. So the recipe recommends uh, chicken thighs. I'm more of a breast kind of guy. Just dump it in the mixing bowl. Once you've dumped your chicken, just mix them all in. And uh, you're supposed to leave this for a whole day, but um, a good half an hour to one hour would suffice. We're gonna start cooking the chicken now. The recipe suggests that we leave it in the oven for 25 minutes. What I'm gonna do is leave it in this grill. Don't call me on this, but however you cook this chicken doesn't really matter. All that matters is that it's cooked. And with this stove, we're gonna prepare the sauce. First thing you'll need is to melt a block of butter in a pot. We're adding bits of a cinnamon stick six cardamom pots. You gotta smash them before you add them in. Four cloves. The recipe didn't say add a star, but when I bought it, it came with a star, so I'm just gonna add this star. Now what we're adding to the gravy next is um, half an onion, green chili, and um, we gotta grate an inch of ginger. Just gonna dump them in. Now be sure to check out on your chicken. Although we want charred bits, we don't want the whole chicken to be burnt. We're gonna add three tablespoons of tomato puree. Now I bought this small little can, so I think um, I'm just gonna add the whole thing. Right after you drop your tomato puree in, add one teaspoon of chili powder and one teaspoon of coriander powder. Once all them spices are in, it's time to add 150 milliliters of heavy cream. Beautiful. Now remember, you still have to season this, but before you do that, we're just gonna finish our gravy off with um, our fenugreek leaves. Uh, yeah, a touch of lemon juice, yes. Two pinches of salt should do. Now comes the best part, to add the chicken into the sauce. Time to serve. Oh my god. That looks absolutely delicious. Just a sprinkle of fresh coriander. Would you look at that beauty? Happy Deepavali. Oh my god. This is lovely. Number one. Chicken, very tender. These charred bits that uh, give you this uh, slightly burnt taste. The sauce is very buttery. The, the coriander gives it uh, a nice um, perfumey taste. Uh, it balances the gelatinous, just damn good. Yeah, I, I can't believe I, I can't believe I made this. Now that is it for today's special episode of Cook From Home. Diet can throw out the windows, yeah? The price itself is $30, but one batch is big enough for a family gathering. I'd give this a three-star difficulty because if you've prepped all the ingredients, cooking should be pretty straightforward. I took a whole hour to prepare and cook this, but at the end, the amount of satisfaction you get when you finally finish making it makes it one of the best dishes I've cooked from home. If you like this recipe, remember to like this video, share it with your friends, and I'll comment on what I should cook next in the next episode of Cook From Home. Till then, happy Deepavali.